Okay. So that uh, part announcement repair for the HM1 reminded me I haven't run this in a while. And I got it out. And if you remember, the last time we ran it, uh, the spark went away. And I've been running it on a three battery pack, but I hooked up three batteries uh, to this yellow ignition unit that I've got in here, uh, which is not the module that comes with it, but it was the one that fits in this box real nicely with the three battery pack. Um, but it wasn't giving me spark, so I switched this pack up. This is now a four, four AA pack. It's got rechargeable batteries in it, and that added an on-off switch, but it doesn't fit in the box anymore. So, uh, with four batteries at six volts, we have spark again. So I think this ignition unit is on its way out, but um, it's a, just another reminder, always run your ignition units at the minimum voltage you can make them operate. Uh, so check whatever they're rated and start at the this one is a 4.2 to 6 volt module, it says. So I was running it at 4.5 uh, or 4.2 if I had, uh, or 3.6 if I had low batteries. Um, and now, like I said, I checked for spark and moved it up to a 6 volt pack. And with the 6 volt pack now, it uh, is giving me spark again. So let's see here. Uh, fill up our oiler and make sure our oil cups are full because this has been sitting on a shelf for quite a while now so When I filled it, I found out that I'd left the needle open to make sure it would dry out. So I think it probably has quite a bit of fuel in it. And hear it drawing. Make sure we've got fuel in it.
I do remember, as beautiful as the HM1 is, I'm never very good at starting it if I haven't been doing it for a while, because it's just a little bit uh, weird to adjust the card. May have lost spark again. <sighs> All right, let's pull that plug out and check spark again, see if it's Just got real wet or something. Plug seems okay. Yeah, we lost spark again, so. All right, that ignition unit is being testy. Uh, I guess I will take that out and replace it because um, I tested the points and the points were making contact. So upping the voltage on that ignition unit solved my problem just long enough for it to go out again. And uh, I guess since I'm replacing it, I will put the stock ignition unit on it, because remember that yellow one is the one that had the wire long enough to reach to the front where the plug was. And so I swapped it out because the stock ignition didn't have a long enough uh, ignition lead to reach the plug. 